Bill, we are back again. Hello there. <laughs> With our buddy Bill. Buddy Bill was freshly retired. It's about three months now retired, right? Yeah. So you've been busy. Uh, with a lot of things here in in your uh, area, right? I think you had a little pump, uh, no, no, a borehole even. Um, you you yeah. made a, well, yeah. we'll have a look in that, at that in a minute. I'm what the hell is that. this, man? It's like a <coughs> monstrous. Guys, what the hell is this? Can you even guess? Bill has been building on this. Bill the Builder. Wow, this looks a, pretty impressive. It's a huge. Guess what it is? Then let me show you guys from the front. Maybe you can see it better. I just arrived there on my little motorbike, all the way out here. This is all Bill's land, guys. This is the house. So look at that. It's a boat for yours, for you who have guessed a speedboat, right? It, well, fishing boat, man. Fish, fishing boat. boat. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, fishing. So you're a fisherman. <clears throat> yeah, you're, I'm going to do a bit of fishing. You're a. Uh, <clears throat> it's like. Uh, I have boats in the UK as well, anyway. So, oh, cool, yeah. cool, cool. So it's basically made of hard, uh, what do you call it, ply, uh, hard marine reflex, ply, yeah. marine, marine ply, yeah. And then um, covered in, in uh, fiberglass cloth, Yeah, Even yeah. covered in fiberglass cloth. And then you present. painted it with something, with paint, and right? And then it's epoxy, uh, oh. um, epoxy paint, two-pack paint as well. Oh, epoxy paint. To give it more... Uh, so you have different colours, blue yeah, and white. Yeah, just give it a bit of... Pretty, pretty good. Different. You think it's going to be strong enough? Oh, definitely, yeah. Try, so... It's yeah. got to have all supports in it and braces in it. Yeah, it's, it's massive, right? It's mm. The hole and then I'm doing the bait, the bottom first, the floor's going in next. Yeah. That's and your floor I'm, there in the background, the white board. Yeah, that's upside down, so that's yeah. underneath, to, so it's dry. Freshly painted. So basically everything is waterproof. Then in the back you get the motor, the engine there. Yeah, so an hour engine on the back. Is, is it going to be a big one? Big boy engine. I've got a 225, so I don't know where to put one on it or two. I don't want it to be. I'm, I'm not bothered about going too fast. Yeah. Just keep going. I want That's it to amazing. be economical as well. I don't want yeah. it to, uh, to cost burn a fuel. fortune. Burn fuel like crazy. But it does not easily accommodate psh, maybe 10 people, I guess. Um, oh, I don't know. By the time the center, con center console going in, the small. Hoodie at the front, but not to get into, just to sub keep things in, locked in, mm -hmm. keep oh, yeah. them safe. Maybe six. Spare engine, probably small engine in the front. Small engine. Um, no cabin. No okay. cabin. No. I'll put, the um, roof. It's having a centre console with a, like a bimini roof over the top of it. Yeah. Then what else? Any, um, um, it's all proper. Steering. So steering from the back with a tiller. Oh or? no no no! It's got a proper steering wheel oh, and everything. Wow. Yeah, yeah I've the, got all the steering and controls for it. Wow. So okay. you sit at a console. Yeah. So it's pretty high bow at the front. Uh, it won't be deep in the water either. It's pretty, pretty flat. The water line probably won't even be as high as the blue actually. Yeah. The river here is about. Some places is like less than two meters, uh, like one and a one and a half, um, one meter. I've seen the people taking a a bath. And they stand up to maybe maybe there. Yeah, it's, it's plenty deep meter. enough for this. I only need probably half a meter. Half a meter, yeah. Half a meter draft on this is plenty. Yeah. Um, the river's quite deep. Yeah, yeah. Some parts, I guess, were really. Yeah. Some parts are a bit shallower. Just down here on my land, the bit of river there, it's about. 15 feet deep. 15 feet, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's four meters. Especially on high tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also have the high tide. How's your borehole and uh, what do you call it, the machine, the drilling, driller, I'm, drilling machine? I, I've got to build it back together again. You said you're going to get rid of it. I'm you... going to sell the borehole machine. Yeah, I was going to keep it as a business, but I just can't be bothered. Yeah, it's, it's hard work, huh? I'm hard work. So the water is coming out now, as much as you want. Pumped 800 litres out of it this morning. 800 litres. No huh? problem at all. Oh. Um, how deep was that? About 55 feet. 55 so, feet. Yeah. And you hit some rocks, rocky terrain. Hit rock twice. But you pushed on through them. Right? And pushed through them. Oh. When I went through the second load of rock. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you there. finished your little uh, trailer as well. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> so, are you using it or not yet? Are you, you going to buy some carabao? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to, to pull it around. Bill built this as well. Bill has been really busy, man. Then then you put up your water tank. Yeah, put the best tank. So, 
mean, you, you can get the water directly from your newly drilled borehole, guys, right there. That's newly drilled a, a week or two ago. So, Bill is about the only one with water in this whole village. Even though it's lush and green, it's not much water. Apparently, the water comes from that mountain or somewhere. The, the well, village. they've been piping into the village does, but there's something wrong somewhere. I don't know whether the pipes broke or something. Yeah, but there's or even, no water coming into the village at all. At or the maybe maybe the pump isn't strong enough. As another, I don't know. It's another a bit reason. Poli political, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Oh God. The water. Yeah, even my friend there in uh, my friend Dana, I was there uh, two days ago. He has no water. They get water on, onto the street or road, and then they have to go and fetch it. Yeah. Yeah, imagine every the morning. The Brangai have got like a pickup truck and they've got oh. uh, they've got a small best tank. Oh yeah. And they go down to um, to the spring. The Cold Spring. Lugucan Cold Springs. Yeah. And they've got a they borrowed a pump from somebody. Yeah. And that should be up bring it up to the village. Be, oh, you got puppies now, huh? Yeah. That's nuisance. What, that's what we've been hearing. What that's kind of dog trouble. is this? It's not a bad looking dog, huh? Seem to be. Maybe like the local mongrels, but. Because we feed them well. Yeah. Seem pretty sturdy. The, 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 he's quite big, he is. Ras. Yeah. Ras. Sturdy. He's quite a big dog. Look, yeah. he's, he's quiet though, he is. Look, quite a good looking little puppy. But that's the trouble here, that you can't... Oh. I tried to go to the vets and see if you get them spayed, but... Oh, yeah. They don't do it here. It's too, or it's very expensive. Yeah, it's crazy. It's more expensive than for a human. I, try, I was trying to get my cat spayed, but it's... Yeah. You have to keep them in, a, in there for like 5,000 pesos a day. Yeah. 5,000 a day. I mean, for me, it was like 500 a day when I was in yeah. hospital. Fucking for the cat is 5,000. That's crazy, you know? I don't know how they figured that one yeah, out. I asked. So the cats get pregnant all the time now, yeah. and then, but the kittens don't really survive. We try to keep the dogs in now. Now we fenced it all off. We'll keep the dogs in if we come in season, but. Yeah, that's about the only solution. You've yeah. got to have like a mini, mini prison to, to lock them in. Yeah. It's all the dogs getting in, that's mm. the trouble. Yeah, the cats. Oh, I just cats. I just feel like giving up, man. It's yeah. like you cannot talk any sense to anyone, you know, so what's the point? I've got some wood everywhere. I've been busy today. I, uh, well, I told you I got my German lucky beers. I to bring all my tools with me from the UK. Yeah, you're lucky, man. Lucky, lucky. It's probably going to be raining in a little while. It's going to be raining. Yeah, the clouds are... This board's going to be... Well, it should be reasonably dry, it's only... Yeah, it's the rainy season, huh? Yeah. Oh, man, it's it, been we, raining. I don't think we had any rain yesterday. Uh, a small shower, I think. We went to Hanatuan yesterday. Oh, yeah? Um, I just wanted to run out, went oh, down to the harbour, yeah. harbour and had a look. Um, oh, you went down the river again? No, no, we just drove down to Hanatuan, went down to the fishing oh, harbour. Okay. They were bringing in some huge tuna. Oh, yeah? yeah. Yellowfin? Yellowfins, yeah. How much are they charging there? I don't know. Oh. I saw a couple of days ago in uh, San Francisco 260 per kilo, and That's here yet yeah, last night, Leia bought some for 320. Yes, yeah. Here in the town, so you can definitely negotiate the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I get it. It's usually about 300 in Baraboo. If I go to Baraboo, I know one of the fishmongers. Uh, so if I buy tuna off him, it's usually 300 he charges. Uh, I try to negotiate sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it works. It works, but sometimes they are very. But really, it's not. Very reluctant. If you think <laughs> there's been a program on TV, um, and they're out catching tuna, uh. and they're bringing big tuna in, and they were getting around about twenty dollars a pound for the fish. Yeah. Which you wouldn't ever get anywhere near that here. No, here's what five. Pounds? Twenty dollars. That's four thousand. Four thousand peso, isn't it? Uh, Twenty dollars is no. 50. One thousand. One thousand. Twenty dollars is one thousand peso. Ten dollars is five hundred. Here is maybe, like no, you said, three hundred. No, fifty. Fifty. Is it fifty pesos a dollar here? Yeah. 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 So one twenty is one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So they never get that. Where? Here. Where? Where they get that? Somewhere in America, they were catching yellowfin. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah here, is, thought, gosh. here is still very cheap, actually. Yeah, it's very cheap, really. Very cheap. You can, you can buy the tolling on for even 100. Yeah. 100, 120, maybe. Like that, how good you can negotiate. I like tuna. Tuna. Oh, really. yeah, I love the tuna. But well, Leah yeah, cooked some last night in a very nice soup. Oh, yeah. The sweet and sour was really good. I just good. like putting it in flour, 
seasoned flour and fry in oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flying is nice. Yeah, fry it. The, the soup was really like good, steak. though. That sweet and sour was really yeah. nice. I really enjoyed Comes it. Comes out like steak. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, very cool, Bill. Uh, the guy says what's Bill been doing here. He's been a very busy man in the last, uh, what is it, two, three months? Three, three months, months yeah. maybe. Trailer is first. Trailer is the first, then, then the borehole. Build the drill. Then you build the drill first, then the borehole. Now you're in this boat, well. so you're you're you have like one I project I per month. I wasn't allowed to start my boat until we got water. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Get the priorities right, right? Yeah. <laughs> next, next, you should, next we should make our own beer. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Like now we got water, we need bit more beer. <laughs> that is expensive. But I got some really good German beer now. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be enjoying that for a while. No more. Well, some of these local beers are really poison, but no, no, not all of them. Some are better than others. I quite but like San Miguel. It's not too bad. Yeah, but it's, I can already feel it. The Vienna beer is way better. It's, it's less chemicals. Yeah. Less chemicals. That little puppy. Okay, cool, man. Good to see you again, Bill. Uh, so, guys, this is my progress report on Bill here in uh, by the river. We hopefully will be here when he launches boat. He launches boat. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't think I'll get it to the river here to launch it. It's oh. going to be too big. So you're going to just pull it out? I'm going to go to take it down to where the 